In this video, we're going to look at the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So here we've got uh, an exam question. It says that we're looking at the boys team and girls teams in terms of points. And what we're going to do, we need to rank the boys team from highest to lowest, and then also do the same for the girls team. So let's have a look. So we can see from the boys team that 19 is the highest score. So we're going to call that rank number one. Then the next highest score would be 18. We're going to rank that as two. Then the next number after that is 16, which is going to be ranked number three. And then the number after that is 14. That's going to be ranked number four. And then 13 would be five. Then we could say that 11 would be six. And then seven would be seven and then five would be eight, and then three would be ranked number nine, and one would be ranked number 10. So once we've done that, we're then going to also rank the girls. So we can say the girls' highest score is going to be 17, which is going to be ranked number one. Then the next highest is 15, which is ranked number two. Then the next highest is going to be 11, which is three. Then the next highest is going to be seven, which is ranked number four. Then the next highest is going to be five. So that. Then we've got number four, which is gonna be ranked number six. Then three, which is going to be ranked number seven. And then two would be ranked eight and then one would be ranked nine and then zero is going to be ranked 10. Then what we're going to do is we're going to rank this, take these ranks and then find the difference. So we call this D and call this D squared. So we're going to do one minus two, which is minus one, six minus three, which is three, three minus four, which is minus one, nine take away seven, which is two, five take away five, which is zero, two take away one, which is one, seven take away six, which is one, eight take away nine, which is minus one, four minus eight, which is minus four, and then 10 take away 10 is zero. Then what we're going to do is we're going to square D, so get D squared. So minus one squared gives me one, three squared gives me nine, minus one squared gives me one, T squared gives me four, zero squared gives me zero, one squared is one, one squared is one, minus one squared is one, minus four all squared is 16, and zero squared is zero. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add all of the column for D squared. So if we add all of this column, we'll get 34. Now this is known as the sum of D squared. And the number in our case is going to be 10 because we've got 10 schools. So what we're going to do is we're going to work out the Spearman's rank correlation coefficients. So the formula for that is the following. One minus six times the sum of D squared all divided by N times N squared minus one. Now, what we're going to do here is say one minus six times 34 divided by 10 times 10 squared minus one. We get a calculator and it's going to be one minus, press the fraction button, six times 34. That gives an denominator, we get 10, 10 squared minus one. Now this would give me 0 0.79, correct to two decimal places. So 0 0.79. And then part B, 
So the first part says to describe this correlation. So we say it's a positive correlation. And the second part says, write down what you conclude about the relationship between the teams of boys and the teams of girls in the same school. So we can say the following. We can say that teams with, so we can say teams with good boy swimmers tend to have good girl swimmers. In the next question. The next question is uh, gross domestic products against life expectancy. So we're going to do the rank of GDP against the rank of life expectancy, which is abbreviated to LE. So 58,198 is the highest, then 29,483 is the second highest, 26,844 is the third highest and so on. So we get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when we come to rank the life expectancy, we can see the highest value here is going to be 79.6. That's rank number one. Then the next highest value is going to be 78.7. So that's going to be rank number two. Then the next highest number is going to be 78.4, which is rank number three. Then the next highest number after that is going to be 77.8. That's rank number four there. Then the next highest number is 76.1, which is image five. Then the next highest number is going to be 71.8 which is rank number six then 64.5 is rank number seven then 62 would be eight and 52.9 would be nine so now we can work we're in a position to work out d squared and d so d is the difference and d squared is a different squared so it doesn't matter about the order how you minus it, I'm going, to do, I'm going to do 1 minus 2, which is minus 1, 2 minus 3, minus 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, 4 minus 5 is minus 1, 5 minus 6 is minus 1, 6 minus 7 is minus 1, 7 minus 4 is 3, and then 8 minus 9 is minus 1, 9 minus 8 is 1. So now we're going to square all the differences, so we get 1, 1, 4, 1, 1, 1, 9, 1, 1. So we're going to add up all of the d squared column and that's going to give me, well, 1 plus 1 gives me 2, plus 4 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, plus 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19, plus 1 is 20. So I get the sum of d squared is 20 and I know that n in our case is 9. So we're going to use the formula which is 1 minus 6 times the sum of d squared all divided by n times n squared minus 1. So that's going to be 1 minus 6 times 20 all divided by 9 times 9 squared minus 1. So we can get our calculator now. And that's going to be one minus six times 20 over nine times nine squared minus one. And that will give me a value of 0 0.83 to two decimal places. Now, part B says to interpret your answer for part A, where well, we can say there is evidence of 
strong positive correlation. So there is evidence of a strong positive correlation. And that's because we got the Spearman's rank value to be 0 0.83, and that's quite close to one. So that's that. And we can also say the following. We can say the greater the GDP, the greater the GDP, the greater the life expectancy.